Hey everybody, this is uh, chapter eight, section four. We're talking about angles of elevation and angles of depression. And these are used in trig, um, kind of more in real life situations. Uh, and we're gonna have to kind of be able to look at a, a picture and be able to figure out uh, how to set up a, a trig function to find an angle uh, for you know, looking down a cliff or looking up at something in the sky or uh, we're going to do a thing here about how tall a tree is and stuff like that. So um, kind of an applicable thing for a bunch of different things you might use in real life. Um, the first definition that we have here uh, is about angle of elevation. Okay, so remember if I'm going a little too fast, hit pause and get your notes cut up and then hit play again and get back with us. Okay, so an angle of elevation is angle form from a horizontal and then looking up. So here's here's my horizontal. And that's created then by looking up at something. Okay, so I might be like standing on a beach and um, there's a cliff at, at, the, at the beginning of the beach and I'm looking up the cliff at somebody that's up on top. Okay, uh, I could be standing Let's say in the upper quad here at school, I'm standing in the upper quad and I'm looking at the top of the A building or I'm looking at the top of the MP building. So this is a way for me to be able to figure out um, what the angle is or I could use the angle if I knew it and find out the height of the building or the height of the cliff, okay? An angle of depression is kind of like when I'm looking down at something. So I have a horizontal here, but this horizontal is kind of like up in the sky kind of thing. So if I'm standing on a cliff, it's like I'm looking straight out, not down, but just straight out. So I've got a horizontal here also. So it's important that I identify my horizontal for both of these angles, okay? And then I'm, I'm looking down at something. So I might be up on the roof of a building and I'm looking down. So maybe I'm on top of the MP building and I'm looking down at um, someone that's in the upper quad. Okay. All right. So it, you have to be able to draw these things and, and understand am I looking at an angle of elevation or an angle of depression? And I'm, a, I'm kind of a, I'm a positive guy. And so I, I really don't like angles of depression. They make me sad. And sometimes it's hard for me to kind of, that for whatever reason, hard for me to picture it. I always turn my angle of, ele of depressions into angle of elevation. So I'll show you that in a moment, how to do that. And I think most kids kind of understand it a little bit easier that way, okay? If you've ever watched, um, National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation with Chevy Chase in it, you you saw that they went out hunting for a Christmas tree and then they got home and the tree didn't fit. It was too big for their family room, okay? So this is a, a way that we can use angle of elevation. So let's we're going to draw a horizontal from our lumberjack guy basically to the middle of the stump of the tree. I'm going to draw a horizontal I mean, I'm sorry, an angle up to the top of the tree. So here's my angle of elevation. Okay. In the particular problem, if you have your notes, but if you don't have your notes, in the particular problem, it tells me that I am standing. Mary Kelso, please. I am stand, standing 15 feet from the tree. Okay. So let's label that distance then as 15. Okay. In the particular problem that we have, they tell me that I have an angle of elevation and I'll abbreviate elevation of 40 degrees. So I'm going to make this 40 degrees down here, okay? So 
with angle of elevation with angle of elevation and angle of depression you have to create the angle you got to be able to draw it correctly so angle of elevation i'm looking up so i hope that under your understanding how to do that now that i have this i need to find the height of the tree so i'm going to call that x and let's get rid of this other X now, okay? Because now it's 40 degrees, okay? And now I got to set up a trig function. So let's make sure that we understand something here too. Well, I'm assuming that the tree and the ground make a right angle, okay? So I need to name my side. So once again, you know, I kind of make you guys do this. We're going to call this the hypotenuse because it's across from the right angle. The angle that I have is 40 degrees it's right here. So this side here is opposite it. So that's the opposite side. And this is the adjacent side. Okay, so I got to figure out using Sokotoa which trig function that happens to be. So opposite and adjacent is what I have and what I need. Together they create tangent. The angle that I have is 40 degrees and the opposite side I called it X the adjacent side we were told is 15 feet okay so there you go you got your trig function set up and we're going to go ahead and um, do some calculations here so when I put you know using my calculator I put tangent 40 in I think I get something about 8.8391 and X over 15, the way that this is set up allows me then just to multiply the two numbers together to get X. And I get X is 12.5 feet. Okay. So, you know, the trig there should be pretty straightforward for you at this point. You had to draw the picture. Okay. The rest of the question says that the ceiling in the living room is 12 feet. So will this tree fit? And as it is where I cut it off, the answer is no, it will not fit. So I might have to trim it a little bit more or maybe I just go cut down another tree. Okay. So there's your, you can use that next Christmas with your parents when you're out looking for a tree and you can, show them I could figure it out. Um, I'll bring my trusty kilometer with me and a tape measure and we'll figure it out together, okay? All right. Next question is a sniper question. And in this particular problem, if you don't have your notes, they kind of give us some stuff. They tell, you, tell me that the sniper right here is camouflaged and he's on top of a 30-foot cliff. Okay. Looking down at a guard or sentry on, on flat ground. Okay. They, the angle of depression is 24 degrees. So remember what I have to do for angle of depression is to draw a horizontal and then draw an angle to this sentry. Okay. This angle of depression that's created now is 24 degrees. Okay. The, um, in this particular case, this is an old fashioned looking soldier, but he's got uh, night vision goggles on. And the night vision goggles give him a, a radius of 70 feet of vision. Okay. We want to know is, is that is that sniper out of his night vision, okay? So I have to find X, all right? Now this is, to me, like now I gotta, I gotta do something else. I, I have to draw another thing here to match the 30 and that's how I'm gonna get my picture. I, and I find those sometimes difficult. The other thing too is that if I drew this horizontally, then shouldn't this be parallel with that? 
And if it was, then I could use some transversal rules and I could say that this is 24 degrees by um, alternate interior angles. So I don't know if you could see that, but X is really my, my transversal line and it's with parallel lines that makes those two angles equal. So I kind of turn my angle of depression into an angle of elevation. And because of that, I'm a little bit more happier and I can do this trig function a little bit better, okay? I'm assuming that the cliff and the ground's at a right angle. So I'm, I'm gonna call that my hypotenuse. The angle that I'm using right here is gonna be opposite to this side. Okay. So that's how I, I convert my angle of depressions into angle elevations, and that's the way I do it. So, you know, you could do it in whatever way. I mean, it's going to be the same thing. Here's, if I'm using my angle of depression, here's the opposite side. This is still the hypotenuse. So you're still going to get the same trig function set it up. It's just, just me, okay? So going back to our question, I got to pick out my trig function. I, I got the opposite side. I got the hypotenuse. So I think that together they make sine. So I'm going to go ahead and set this up as sine. The angle of depression or elevation, however you want to, you want to use it, is 24 degrees. It equals the opposite side, which is the cliff, which is 30 over the hypotenuse, which is x. With my calculator then, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and put sine of 24 in. I believe I get something about, I'm going to let you guys do it, I won't rush you too much, 4067 equals 30 over x. Okay. The way that this particular problem is set up for us, what we had, I'm going to need to go ahead and divide this 30 by my decimal equivalent. So, you know, in your calculator, 30 divided by 0 0.4067. And that gets me a value of about 73.8. Okay. So this guard had infrared goggles or night vision goggles that could see up to 70 feet. And we want to know, is the sniper camouflaged? And this answer would be yes, because he's outside of the limits of the night vision goggles. Okay. All right. So using stuff in real life. Um, I like angles of elevation. You can change depressions into elevations, kind of using our transversal stuff. You don't have to. You can, you know, I showed you both ways, basically. You get the same thing no matter what. Um, so you, you do it what you feel comfortable with, okay? All right. If you have any questions, make sure you ask. Get a hold of me. Make sure you work really hard on the uh, classwork that goes with it. Thanks.